I know this might sound crazy, but there are a few positives about being in debt. As we all know, being in debt can be suffocating, it is stressful, it's overwhelming, you lose sleep, it's not fun. I am aware of that. I know how you feel because I am in debt as well, but there are a lot of things that I can consider positives about being in debt. And these things have helped me to feel more empowered by my debt rather than a victim of my debt. And hopefully I can offer these things to you for you to consider as well, and you can shift your perspective on it as well. The first thing is that you will find a way and this will create more motivation. I know for me, even before I started my debt-free journey and I was really struggling financially, I've talked about this before, there was a point where my account went into the negatives and I knew that this was my version of rock bottom and I knew that I would never, ever, ever experience this again because I would not allow it. I was so disappointed in myself and upset with where I allowed my finances to get to that I knew I would never get there again because I had control of it. And so from there, I found a way every single time. And this is what I mean by you'll find more motivation. If you need a couple hundred bucks, you will find that couple hundred bucks on this journey, I guarantee it, because if your lights are about to be shut off, not that, not that I experience that or anything, but if your lights are about to be shut off or if you really have to make this payment, you're gonna find a way to do that. You're gonna sell some things, you're gonna look for cash somewhere, you'll find a way. I know that when my account was negative, I never wanted to experience that again, and this also just gives me more motivation to focus on my finances in general because I do not want to struggle with finances ever again. It's not a good feeling. And this whole journey has just made me stronger in general. And that is amazing. Like we can do hard things. This is such a hard journey and we have to push ourselves through this and it's not easy, I know that, but you're gonna come out better on the other side. A debt-free journey can be life-changing and you will discover what you're capable of and then you will realize that you do not want to experience this again and that is pretty powerful. The second thing is that you have exciting goals to reach and I know that's the case for me because if you have debt, you probably have the goal to be debt free. That's if you are aware of it and you have accepted that you are in debt and are taking action to get out of debt. I have over $50,000 of debt that I would like to pay off by a specific date. And as for you, I'm sure there is a certain amount of debt that you have that you would also like to pay off by a certain date. I could easily just make the minimum payments on all of my debts and take the whole time that it would require, all the interest included. That's the typical American lifestyle. But I do not want to be in debt for 10 plus years. I wanna pay it off as quickly as possible, probably in less than half that time. And so that's an exciting goal for me to reach. I have all these big financial goals now, starting with my debt. And then after I pay off my debt, I wanna start investing. I wanna start working toward financial independence. I wanna save as much as I can. There's all these things that come with it and I know that without my debt, I wouldn't have these big financial goals. Getting out of debt kind of puts a purpose behind a lot of the things that I do and it gives me something to work toward and something to look forward to and I really appreciate that. The third thing is you start enjoying the little things and I can say now even more so I have noticed this. My perspective on finances and material items has completely shifted especially since starting this debt-free journey. I have definitely adapted more of a minimalistic lifestyle and I'm not a complete minimalist but but I do now find joy in little things and I don't really need to go shopping to get those dopamine hits or anything like that. Like I absolutely love going for walks. I love to sip on coffee on the balcony with my boyfriend. I, I love to cook a home dinner with my boyfriend and just enjoy our time together. I, I like to do free activities. I like reading books. These, there's all these little things in life that I have found so much more joy in because it gives you more meaning. Those things create memories and just happiness overall. I have noticed that when I buy things, I get this temporary high and I haven't bought many things over the last year or so, but I did notice even then when I would buy something, I would feel so excited and this 
dopamine hit as soon as I bought it, but then that would soon go away and it just didn't feel exciting anymore. Becoming aware of this is definitely because I've been on this debt-free journey and I love loving the small things in life more. It's so much better. The fourth thing is you get way more educated about finances. I guarantee you that if I did not have all of this debt, I probably wouldn't have learned this much about finances. I know for me, it started out with listening to Dave Ramsey and just hearing different people's stories and realizing that one, I could pay off my debt sooner rather than later. And then from there, it kind of snowballed into all these different areas, learning how to invest, learning about financial independence, learning different ways to save, learning ways to budget, all of these things came after I started my debt-free journey. And I have become obsessive about my finances and I know sometimes it can be a bad thing, but it's also so important because now I am so aware of my finances while somebody who did not have to struggle probably isn't. And I know that in the long run, I'm gonna be better off in my life and that is really important to me. I love that I have taken the initiative on educating myself in finances. Unfortunately, they don't teach that in schools and unfortunately a lot of parents don't even teach that to their children or the parents themselves are not even educated on it. So I'm really grateful that there are things out there that are free that we can just consume. I've read so many books, I've watched so many videos, I've read so many blog posts. There's all these things that I've found and I know that I did that because of my debt. That's where it all started. The final thing is that you will realize you don't need as much. And like I said, I adopted more of a minimalistic lifestyle since starting this journey because we do not need all these things. If your lifestyle is up here and your income is here, you're going to have a small gap. But if your lifestyle is down here and your income's up here, you're gonna have this big gap between the two where you can save or pay off more debt. And it is so worth it because I don't need all these clothes. Nobody cares that my clothes are not designer or the best looking thing ever. I dress nicely with what I have with very simple things and that's it. I don't need to have a pair of shoes that I really like. I don't need to buy the next electronic or have the latest phone. It's things like that that are going to keep you broke and are going to keep you in debt. You start to appreciate the things you already have and those small things that mean a lot to you. And also, you start to take care of your things more. At the end of the day, honestly, those things do not even matter anymore. And while they're nice to buy in the moment and they may look nice for months or years, it's just not worth it anymore. And that's something that I have realized even more so while on this debt-free journey. If you kind of set it up where purchasing those things is not even an option, then your perspective completely changes on it. And I'm so grateful for that perspective. Just overall, being in debt has completely opened my eyes and completely changed my perspective on so many things. The things I want in life, the things I want to do with my life, my career, all of that. And I know being in debt sucks. Trust me, I'd rather not be in debt because it's not fun and you'd rather be putting your money towards something else but this is truly a journey and it is something I am truly grateful for. And I just wanted to make this video as kind of a reminder for that and kind of as a way for you to feel better about your debt if you're really struggling with it. I always try to think of the positives when I'm feeling down about my finances because it is going to happen while you're on this journey. And hopefully it really inspires you to just keep going and keep saving money and keep paying off debt. Comment down below something that you are grateful for in regards to your debt or your financial struggle. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe if you have not already and I will talk to you in my next video.